my name is Kayla and I'm from Save to Serve and today Save to Serve slash 8 Steps to Health is here hosting a food distribution where we are passing out free food as well as diapers for the mothers, offering prayer and holding a health presentation about diabetes. So stay tuned.
Hi, good afternoon. We are so happy to have the Aces here today. What's your name, sir? Gene Ace Jr. Gene Ace Jr. Nice to have you. And Audrey. Audrey Ace. It was such a pleasure to have you here today. What brought you here? How did you know we were here today? Oh, by visiting the church. I've been visiting there about a month. Mm -hmm. And the mention about the food drive, so we came out. Okay, huh. very good. What kind of things did you get in your bag today? We got some cabbage, some carrots, some onions, okay. some potatoes. Nice. Those sounds like some good things. Some good healthy vegetables. Some good healthy vegetables. Oh, vegetables, yes. Okay, very good. All right, so I hear you were under the health tent. Is that true? Oh, yes, yes. yes. And what did you learn under the health tent? I think our t topic today is diabetes. And what did you learn under the health tent? Well, we should stay away from food like pizza. I love pizza, so I can't stay away yet, but I have to just... You can wean yourself little by little. You know what I do? I get pizza without cheese, if ever I get pizza. Yes, with a bunch of vegetables and sauce, and it's very delicious. What else did you learn? And the burger to stay away from and french fries, but it will take time. <laughs> yes, it will take time. God will give you the strength. He's given us strength, and he will make it... He will make a way out of no way. What is your name and what brought you out today? I'm Diane Williams and I saw the sign and I just felt good about it. And I see people and I know they were doing something for the Lord and I'm just amazed that I stopped. You know, it's just a wonderful thing that you're all doing. And Aww. yes, you know, we are saved to serve <laughs> and uh, we are put here. You know, our main purpose on this earth is to serve the Lord on a daily basis and that is my I promise that I would do that I made gave myself to the Lord several several years ago and I will do what I can to help and that was why I stopped to see what it is I can do <laughs> oh well I'm so happy you got to stop and come and see us Diane so what are some of the big things that stuck out to you today the big things that stuck out is the signs you know my concern I stopped at the prayer table mm -hmm. and the prayer table there's you know we all need prayer mm -hmm. but a few people stuck out in my mind and the sisters pray with me and I just I'm not walking away here the way I came I feel so good about uh, the Lord anyway he hears our prayers but you know I'm just amazed and the prayer table you know we can do everything at the prayer table you mm -hmm. know uh, he will supply our needs mm -hmm. you know but it all begins in prayer you mm -hmm. know and I just I'm just amazed and I'm I'm anxious you know because I know it's gonna do some good things it is wonderful to have you here at um, our outdoor evangelism and I'd like to know your name Magdalene Plummer Okay, Magdalene. And I can tell you, Magdalene has hit it off with everybody here today. So I'd like to know her experience here with us today. What a wonderful um, day today is. And we passing by and saw all this going on. I only live across the road there. And I decided to stop. Well, what a wonderful group of people this I ran into. Praise the Lord. I. I'm so happy that I stopped by and I could get some good information on my diabetes and in experiencing that, meeting such warm and wonderful people that God had prepared for me today. I thank you for this nice welcome and I only hope everything will be as successful as your event has been. God bless you all, and thanks for having me. Thank you so much, Miss Magdalene. We appreciate you, and you are now a part of our family. Oh. So um, I know we, they have told you, are you going to visit us at Save to Serve one day? Uh, one of these days, yes, I will. Okay. And if the, the service fall in line with mine, yes, I will kind of a, do a little, you know, absence from mine and be with you there. Okay. okay. All right. Looking forward to seeing you. And I know that she did get some information on where we are. So we will see her soon. Absolutely. Thank you. I met your lovely pastor and his wife. And I ran right into his mother. So God bless you all. All right. Thanks. Thank you so much. What is your name and where are you from? My name is Karen and I'm from Montford. 
Montverde, well, thank you for coming. You for sharing this is wonderful, beautiful bounty. I was just about to ask you, what was your favorite experience of today? What brought you out to our food drive? Well, what brought me out was a friend of mine telling me about it. And I think they told me the last time and I was unable to come. And so that brought me out and I was really stressed to begin with, worrying about the day coming out and didn't know what it was going to be like. And as soon as I got here, I saw the smiling faces and everybody is so friendly and helpful and loving and caring. And, and in the spirit. So that has been such a tremendous experience just to be here with, amongst everybody that's been so lovely, you know, and beautiful. So that, that's been my best experience. Oh, well, hearing your happiness just makes me happy right now. <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. And so would you be willing to share this information with a friend and have them come on out as well when we have another one? I did today, and I oh, did bring a friend today. I shared it with her, and I will continue to share, yes. Oh. And also, uh, I grew up in, na in the neighborhood of a Seventh-day Adventist church, so I've known about the Seventh-day Adventist for a long time. So uh, my friend who now believes that Saturday is the worship day is talking to me and I'm considering. So it's in my, it's planted in my brain. So I'm, we'll see what happens. Well, I'll be praying for you, Karen, you and you will definitely be in my prayers because I, I hope to have you come out more. Just come and visit us, just dwell with us because we'd love to have you around. Your smile is just perfect, so it's making me happy. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Did you have anything else you wanted to leave with us? Any last comments, any encouragements or anything of that sort? Well, the, the encouragements would be, you know, just come out. Just, just come out because everyone here is wonderful and helpful and happy to see you and and it's a good, it's a great experience, and and, and it's ble it's blessed. I feel blessed to have, you know, meet new f friends and get some help also, food wise. Well, we're so happy and to prayers. and the prayers too were wonderful. Yes. People praying with me. So being fed both spiritually and physically at the same time. Exactly, exactly. Oh well, so awesome to have you. Thank you so much, Karen. Can I hug you? Oh, of course, of course. Yeah, <laughs> what brought you out today? Eh, ¿Qué nos trajo acá? Eh, nos pareció el cartel nomás de, de, de la comida gratis y pues nos sorprendimos también al ver y fue bonito pues que nos dieran la palabra de Dios y estar acá y participar en esta actividad tan bonita que, que nos ofrecieron, nos sorprendieron. Actividad bonito, ok, so good activities, what did I miss? <laughs> so, uh, they, he says that he got really surprised, also he saw the flyers, the flyers and the, the, yeah, the flyers, and then he said that he is really surprised and he is really happy also for the blessing, especially for the word of God also. Okay, yeah. well, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and thank you guys so much for coming out. Are you willing to share this with a friend and have someone else come as well? Well, when we have it again? Um, pues, eh. La verdad, pues, <laughs> sí, yeah, it, lo, sí, lo quisiéramos compartir y pues eh, sería lo mejor, eh, algo especial para los amigos y compartir algo bonito que no, no se da a diario con ellos, la convivencia es, eh, es lo mejor que pudiera existir eh, en la vida de ellos porque en esto ellos están un poquito fuera de, de eso y sería una experiencia para ellos. Magnifica. Uh, uh, familiares? Okay. Okay. He says that, yeah, that he's more than happy to share this experience with family and friends because most of them um, probably they are not in this, involved in the spiritual things or activities. So he says that, yeah, he's going to be happy to, in, to share with his family and friends. Yeah. Okay. Well, gracias. Muchos gracias. Que de Dios bendiga. <laughs> Adios. Good, right? <laughs> Today at the food drive was a big, big blessing. There was supposed to be a forecast of rain and thunderstorm, and God kept it from raining. Well, it was a little drizzle, but thank the Lord that it wasn't big. And as you can tell, we gave out a lot of food here. And also, people received prayer, and we talked about diabetes to them, and we helped out many souls. And we pray that all these souls will come to Christ. Right, Rachel? Yeah. Right. So let's go and say bye bye. Say thank bye. you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. See you later. See you.